What's up guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. My name is Jay and uh, you know, recently, as in like the past few months since 2K22 dropped, I've been making videos on the draft mode. I've been going into the draft mode that 2K finally put in the mode and uh, you know, it's kind of fun. It's actually a good way to grind MT or tokens, that kind of stuff. But in terms of video safe, I never end up getting the best player. It's not very much variety in it. Like we can only get players from certain packs. So uh, today I decided to go back to my roots of making a draft video and uh, hop onto 2K Empty Central instead. And as you can see here, our very favorite website, uh, 2K Empty Central. I'm not gonna be doing an official draft on here, but I'm gonna open 10 of these here boost packs because in the boost packs, I could see cards anywhere, ranging anywhere from a gold, which is now the base, all the way up to a diamond or pink diamond, but it's not the greatest odds. I'm not guaranteed to get a pink diamond every time. And there's definitely some troll cards in here. So I'm gonna open 10 boost packs. Today, our theme is the highest overall draft. So I do get to put together the best team uh, hopefully at least hopefully it goes well and the only other thing i'll say as a disclaimer is that there are a ton i tested this out so many reward cards that pop up in these packs so if i see like a pink diamond chris mullen or something that i don't have on my main account i will replace that card with an equal overall card so like a different 95 overall pink diamond i think that makes sense well, that's an interesting point all right but let's see are we starting off with something hot that's a sapphire ruby okay ruby's not bad yep that, that ruby's not bad but oh my my word like a base marcus can be at this point in the game that's not very helpful this is the classic trap of yes i'm using the highest overall cards but again is marcus can be really a card that i want in my life oh my word the base set card so mo lucas is interesting but i don't have that card in my collection so i guess we're going with larry legend now if i ended up seeing the diamond larry bird here i mean that would be like what are the odds also i would probably want the diamond but we'll cross that imaginary bridge when we definitely don't get to it more base set cards Cards. Do I want Kenny Smith or Jeff Muller? Yo, Kenny's actually pretty good. I think he's got like an 88.3 or something. So I'll take him. I promise you all when I did some testing of these packs, I did see, you know, some usable cards, some, some better stuff. There's an Amethyst. Please don't. <laughs> oh, it's an Amethyst base set card. El Brand, no. Come on, 2K Empty Central. Why are you doing me dirty? Like the real draft. At least there I get promo cards. <gasps> Pink Diamond. Pink Diamond. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. There is an example of what I'm talking about. Highest overall card. I got to take him. Sleep. Sleepy Floyd, but unfortunately, I don't have that exchange work. I'll take a different 95 overall pink diamond, though. Those were the rules. I set them, and there's our first good selection. And I feel good for doing the draft this way now, at least a little bit, because we did see a good card. Uh, do we follow it up with a potential Ruby? Dikembe Daryl. I think Daryl probably meant, no, I'll take Dikembe, just because he's taller. This is going to be difficult trying to win a game with all these day one cards, but I guess that's what I get. Oh, look at this pack, though. All right. This is some good variety in this pack. I see a Bob McAdoo. I'll check if I have enough tokens for him. If not, a different 91 overall center. Bob Mack was the star of the uh, My League video I posted just the other day. If you know, you know Bob McAdoo running the show. Anyways, hopefully he helps my team. Oh my word. I would way rather have this colossal Cade Cunningham, but Xavier's the highest overall. Gotta stick to the rules, bruh. Two spots in our lineup left. I need two guards. That usually doesn't happen. Usually I don't have enough guards, but yeah. Shooting guard or point guard eligible. Our last two players gotta do it because our lineup simply has to work. And okay, yes, yes, yes. I just, I just opened the pack and I, okay, I love it, man. Our first non-base set card of like the Ruby or lower tier, LaMelo Ball, who is still not outdated. I still love that card, bro. I needed him. And our last pack, do we see, ooh, Steven Jackson. Ah, but he can't play shooting guard. Hold on. You know what, Steven Jackson, I probably don't have enough tokens for him and Bob McAdoo, if any. So I will claim him as the highest overall, a 91 Amethyst card. I will pick up a shooting guard. And here's the lineup we have indeed drafted. I chose Pete Maravich as my pink diamond point guard. I've used Steph already. I just used him the other day. So let's try out Pete. I put in Josh Smith instead of Bob McAdoo as an amethyst power forward. Kyle Korver as an amethyst shooting guard. And I just realized Larry Bird is not listed as a small forward. Okay. We will put in uh, Jarrett Culver instead just to make our lineup right. The highest overall draft NBA 2K22. I got to go sweating some unlimited now. Oh no. My opponent's got a team. Oh my. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, hopefully I can make it through half here. I am not letting this entire game ruin my weekend. If I'm losing by a million by half, we might have to quit. But, you know, maybe Pete Maravich can carry us. Let's see. Gosh darn skill-based matchmaking. Not looking at my actual team over. Oh, that's wide open. Xavier McDaniel can't shoot, though. Okay. I think Xavier can shoot if I just release it a little bit better. Pete Maravich holy moly that yep that jason kid can defend my bad let's go it's all about pete and it's all about josh smith good finish pete that was a weird little flip up i'll take it oh my god 
Come on, 2K. His Jason Kidd gets an early release with the shot meter on to go. Like, what, what are we doing here? Oh, he's not playing. Okay. Hey, give me a free basket. I will take it in this game. Good D, good D to Ke oh, Dikembe with the massive steal, yet somehow, oh my, was that Xavier McDaniel just didn't pick the ball up? If he scores here, I am going to cry. Get the rebound, get the rebound. Thank you. Okay, somehow we recover the ball eventually. Let me see if I can't get a nice hard screen set by Dikembe, a nice quick stop three for Pete Maravich. Nope, but he's sagging way off Perfect. again. And I'm greening with Xavier in the corner. Okay, if you're gonna sag that far off, I gotta make you pay. This Pete Maravich really is shifty out here. If I get even a little bit of spit, yo, it, the problem is he's off-balling with Jason Kidd and Jason Kidd's defensive attributes are insane, Brad. They are really insane. Josh Smith, bad release. Give me that though, that's a good look. Despite having an awesome team, I don't think my opponent's good at the game. He can't score on me with all these high overall cards. Defense is much easier for him because, uh, because look at that. Like his CPU is going to clamp me because they're so high overall. If I win this game, it is going to be mighty ugly, but I'm going to try and do it. Oh my goodness, Pete Maravich, I wasn't commentating. I finally just said, screw it, I'm putting up a quick stop three. Horrible shot, but Pistol Pete got me, bro, wow. All right, man, I got the bench coming in shortly. I'm just gonna have to grind out this. Oh, I did get some of the bench here. I see Kyle Korver, okay, Korv. Okay, Josh Smith, big D. Yeah, big defense, Josh Smith, we love it. All right, Korver spot up on the break. Oh, just kidding, it's Josh Smith for the slam. Oh. I'm gonna try and run a quick play for Kyle Korver here. These never really work for me, but is someone gonna set Kyle Korver a screen or what are we doing here? Oh yeah, it is. He's off ball. Nope, that didn't work at all. Korver baseline? <laughs> Korver baseline, geez, that was so bad, but it worked. Kyle Korver wide open. That's pretty deep though. That's pretty deep. Don't matter. Kyle can hit it, even though that was a bad release. I love it. Let's go. We own transition. Josh Smith lead the way. Kyle Korver, yes, I know that release now. I know that release right on cue with the greenie. Holy moly, my whole bench hasn't even began to come in yet. Pete Maravich is tired as ever, and yet he's still killing it. Oh, I thought he was gonna get a block there too. I'll take that steal. Yeah, ooh, 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 right in the passing lane. I mean, I guess Josh Smith is tired. Makes sense he wouldn't catch it. It was still a nice play. I just wanted the steal. Moses Malone, a step back mid-range jumper. Yo, if that's what we're giving this dude and he hits it, fair enough. Again, I've said a million times, his team is good enough that he's gonna stay close in this game just by virtue of that. But Another one. I mean, boy, like, he's not good. What kind of defense was that? Good defense, Kyle Corver, good defense. Look at the tough baskets he's having to score. Yo, I'm going on third quarter run here. I'm winning with our drafted squad. I can feel it. Oh, I don't even need the third quarter. Kenny Smith in the corner, making up for that missed dunk. Beautiful, I got this. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I technically did promise a flood um, third quarter run. Didn't quite think it would happen like that. What, dude, I just went up by like 20. He was running so much like a uh, structured offense. It became so predictable. I had like 10 steals in that quarter. Kyle Corver was going crazy. Wow, okay, Re really good little gameplay there. I feel good. And one more look at our drafted team, guys. Let me know in the comment section. If I do drafts this way, like 2K Empty Central, like Classic J Canada, then I can do different themes and stuff. It's just a little bit harder with the actual draft mode this year. Here, I think to make interesting videos, but you guys let me know if you'd rather see me in the draft mode than doing this, drop that comment down below. But either way, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for plenty more content 2K22 on the way. Also my second channel, Basketball Cinema, link in the description. Go ahead, check that out for me. But that's all I got for this one, y'all. I'm Jay, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.